just some of the many people lining the streets of Croydon today to welcome home the 2nd Battalion, the Rifles. The battalion suffered more than most recently, losing 13 men in Afghanistan this summer. These 100 soldiers are based in Ballykinla in Northern Ireland, but they were invited to parade through Croydon by its mayor after the death of rifleman Danny Simpson, who was from the town. Based in Sangin, the 600-strong battalion endured fierce fighting during their tour of duty, including what was described as one hour of tragedy on July the 10th, the day five riflemen were killed in two blasts while on foot patrol. 26-year-old Alex Horsfall remembers that day particularly well. He lost his left leg above the knee as a result of injuries suffered then, as well as damage to his left arm. I just made a huge amount. Uh, I mean, for me, I haven't, I haven't seen my uh, my platoon for three and a half months. Um, so, you know, it, it's the sort of first time that I've seen them since I've been blown up and since uh, we had sort of a bit of a tragic day where we lost five guys. Uh, that was the day you were injured? That was the day I was injured. Um, so for me, it's, a, you know, it's an incredible day. Sangin is a notoriously volatile area because it contains a patchwork of rival tribes and it's a major centre for the country's opium industry. As well as the 13 deaths, 14 soldiers in the battalion suffered life-changing injuries to their limbs or eyes. Describing the level of pressure the battalion faced, Lieutenant Colonel Thompson said every day was like it was the World Cup final. The battalion has now been granted the freedom of the streets of Croydon. And so today was a day when dozens of people, most of them strangers, wanted to say a personal thank you to this battalion for their sacrifice and the sacrifice of 13 of their friends who didn't come back.